Thank you so much, Nzinga. You should be here to see the kind of facility that is here. You know, it's state of the art, sprawling infrastructure, uh, modern uh, architecture. You know, but, uh, it's, although it's not really fully cubed, but uh, the department is on the right track to fully cube it. And that this will, uh, of course, um, uh, help in terms of uh, relieving pressure on the, on the other hospital, Maputa Malaji Hospital, uh, since uh, a lot of people in this uh, area uh, depend on that particular. Uh, hospital. You know, this is um, a, a, a big hospital, as I said, and uh, uh, the good news is the fact that uh, it won't just remain a, a white elephant that is dormant and not uh, operational. But to get more uh, on this, I'm joined here by uh, uh, MEC uh, for Health in this province, Dr. Papira Matuba. Uh, MEC, thank you so much for your time. Um, just to, to to us about that this particular infrastructure you you are opening it now you are turning it over what are uh, some of the facilities that are here i think as as you might have seen during the tour uh, already we have started to dedicate 38 beds that will be dealing with covid 19 in preparation of the third wave you have seen we have already admitted patients in those wards starting from uh, yesterday and, and today we'll continue to utilize those COVID-19 wards. We already have got, you've seen our maternity, which will be the second one to be equipped, which it's, it's got its own beautiful suits that suit even uh, for those patients who want their own privacy. We also have got our pediatric, our children's ward. We, you've seen our theatre in a province where we have done a lot of work in recruiting the specialists. But one of the challenges, especially the surgeons, is that they do not have enough theatres in the province. So these theatres that we are handing over today, we, you will see us in future bringing the specialists here to come and do operations. So uh, basically you've seen uh, that this is one of those top uh, staff facilities because it was utilised by the private sector. Yeah, it used to be a private uh, public uh, partnership at that particular time and then clinics uh, who were administering this hospital left, and that was three years back. What took so long to hand it over officially to, to the department? What were the challenges? I think uh, where there are contracts and and also then there the will be, I will not lie to you, there have been conflicts on how uh, the contract uh, was terminated or how the contract ended, how one partner pulled out of the contract. It, it had to go through the legal processes and we managed to finally at a long last. It was a very long journey, but I want to thank the, the support that we get and also the cooperation that we got from clinics because we finally, uh, finally all those disputes within the contract and immediately when they handed over uh, this year in February uh, to us officially we started with the renovation and this is the work that you see here we had to put up a lot of effort in renovating and that is why today you see we are here today and I'm handing it over to Maputa Malachi Hospital Management together with Mupani District so that like you earlier said the nearest private facility from here it's in Mediclinic Zani which is around one hour of a 30 minutes drive. This is an area which has got a lot of mine here. You've got a military health a military services here. They also need health services here. So those are some of the partners that we've already started engagement with them to say how best can they utilize this facility. I was talking to one GP who says when they want to uh, transfer a patient which they want to admit because they won't admit in their rooms, the nearest facility is dense and in which is very far. So this particular facility will come in handy for them. We are going to offer them space where they will be able to admit their own patient and we will will be able to generate revenue as the state and that's when you will find the real public private partnership and for all, for all, all of us to understand that when we say NHI is here it's here it will not just start just like that it will start in small like it is today so that we understand that together both public and private can work together and for the sake of the health of our nation okay um, you also touched on the issue of lack of staff how much of the challenge how much of the challenge is that uh, I must indicate that staff staff should is a challenge, especially with the austerity measure. We are alive to the situation that we are faced. Budget cuts here, 
and we were told you cut the budget on the human resources. That is a challenge. We are not only talking about your doctors and nurses. Actually, when you look at the comparison of the shortage in my province, when you look at the doctors, it's not as worse as when you look at the cleaners. And But we're working with our provincial treasury to see how we can meet mitigate on that work. Thank you so much for your time. That was MEC for Health, Dr. Popi Ramatuva, talking about uh, this particular uh, facility, also saying that it comes handy, um, uh, especially in the light of uh, COVID-19 and expected third wave. Lieutenant Popoli giving us an update from Limpopo there. Thanks so much for that.